uh, hello everyone uh, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to conduct a time history analysis on an existing structure uh, in the previous we uh, create a 3d model and we perform the analysis push over an outer and we got this curve and finally we also used the idealization method and we got this yield point and also uh, shear yield force so um, now uh, we want to go to back again and uh, simply we want to create a 3d model using weather and in this time uh, we want to the number of base should be four four and the number of story should be five and the number of uh, this uh, I want to make it to 10 so uh, in uh, manually it will not exceed 10 in this right uh, and the number of frames is similar with the number of bays and uh, we want uh, uh, <coughs> six meters in each direction in the bay and also in the frame so the number of stories three meter and we want to uh, use that existing uh, concrete uh, column existing concrete uh, columns uh, such as the concrete beam and concrete columns and the loading type or an analysis type is this time I want to select uh, dynamic time history analysis and this time okay and here they asked me to provide the time history so in the software there is some uh, already given uh, data you can use such as gg earthquake ob earthquake or uh, imperial valley so i'm using imperial valley and here is uh, the file you just see we have using gx uh, G unit two column one is time and one is uh, the ground motion this the step is 0 0.5 we can give uh, this point is point 6 which is starting from line 6 and the last one is this one automatically program detected and this is the curve multiplier which is uh, changing G to meter because we're using meter and now here is called uh, time and acceleration per line so just we have two and the second should be acceleration the first one is time now we can go to ok and you can see this is the history time curve so we're gonna ok so now we created all those points all those points uh, and also uh, we can go to back the material is this three material is still uh, material if, they, if I want to edit and see this is the serial material Montego uh, materials model uh, and uh, this is the concrete uh, this concrete is uh, it's called a nonlinear concrete model in Mander it's a very popular concrete <coughs> and the section we have two section uh, uh, column and beam uh, which we using fiber element and each concrete uh, section is divided by 100 and you can see the size and in the elements uh, classes uh, that is the uh, fiber uh, beam uh, plastic inch and plastic inch you can change this uh, let's suppose we want to use in the 15 uh, foot size uh, now uh, this this is the uh, beam that was the column and I can give 15 a little uh, in the middle side okay, so we brought some changes in the uh, plastic inch area so the good thing is in uh, uh, system structure, the plastic hinge is automatically will create it based on the giving cross section. 
So otherwise, in some other software, such as in Sharp Etabs, you should uh, uh, calculate the plastic inch rotational and moment. So the nodes and uh, element connectivities, constraints, uh, which is uh, using a diaphragm, restraint, boundary condition, and time history, which we have this time history. Now, light load, which is the horizontal, uh, the dynamic time increment load, and the gravity load. Now we want to go to the uh, so in the time um, history analysis, we also can consider the uh, uh, available um, structural resistance. So uh, then we want to evaluate the performance of this structure. So we can check this code and know the performance criteria is giving in case the structure reached to this area and it will notify us uh, the structure reached to crash area or yield or fracture. So now we go to the processing processor and we want to run the, the uh, yeah we should save it and I can call it time history. Now we're gonna start running. Um, yes, so it asking so sometimes uh, uh, in case if you want to uh, reduce, so you should take this output. Um, so I selected to get that one. So it's uh, because it's 2000 point and using nonlinear, so the amounts of data will be large and taking some time. And you also can see uh, real time plotting, which is one of the uh, best uh, features of this software. So in the one structure is going up, this is actually the response. Going up and going down, up, down, you can see how it works. Now it reached about uh, less than one second, so it has about uh, 40 seconds. So the small displacement and giving the structure large and again, again, Now it reached almost three seconds. Uh, this is the response the displacement uh, when the earthquake is actually applied to the base of the structure. So the structural uh, top uh, displacement is here. Now uh, it's almost uh, completed. Just a few seconds is left. Uh, and we can, after finished, we can do some interpretation and see the result how. Uh, structural response according uh, in this earthquake analysis. Uh, now the analysis completed. It's called time history analysis completed. So uh, let's see uh, some uh, uh, results. It's the maximum displacement is uh, 50 centimeter, which is quite large for this structure. Uh, in previous example, we saw that that the, the same structure with same uh, section will have a yield point 7.5 millimeter but it's 150 millimeter quite uh, large so in case if such a earthquake happen and this structure with uh, uh, this cross section and this kind of reinforcement so will uh, start yielding and also finally uh, will damage so the damage that can be in a life safety or intermediate occupant. Uh, now uh, we can see the uh, output. Uh, if we uh, so it's very heavy, and I checked this uh, data is about two GB, and uh, when you go to the time history about ten seconds, so you can here yeah, you can see the displacement of the structure. Uh, now we can also create some uh, animation video, but it requires so much uh, memories and also so much spaces. Uh, we can make it a little uh, reduce the deformation scale here. Mm, 
so, so, so. Okay, now we can uh, go to uh, see the other um, outputs, uh, such as the global response parameters in time history. Uh, you can consider the displacement and also you can select which node you want. So usually this is the last uh, part, and, uh, uh, the last node from the last row for proofing and it will create for you this data. And so here is, and we can say giving the displacement and also we can consider the other parameter as well. Uh, here is the velocity and acceleration. In case if I go back to here, each node, each floor, uh, they giving specific uh, the response. Now the list I use the translational should be X. I'm going to use so this is the acceleration and it's about 5.5 g with this which we're giving less than one and it's become uh, five times larger in the node from the roof area uh, so this uh, imperial valley earthquake is one of the strongest that uh, ever happened uh, so uh, the, the structure near to the imperial valley should be uh, added some sort of device that can observe more energy from earthquake. Now we also can get the resistance curve of uh, this structure, uh, such as considering node 1, this node, 2 node, and base shear with moment rotation. Also we have another option uh, uh, in other direction as well. So we're just considering these two, we are refresh. Uh, this is the earthquake. Uh, this is the easy stress behavior. Uh, this is the moment rotation of the that point, and also this is the uh, base shear. Uh, it's about three thousand newton. So this earthquake will create a shear force about four thousand, four thousand five hundred kilonewtons. So we quite a lot. In case if I go back to perform a, a pushover analysis and then. I can compare uh, the structure with the earthquake and also the uh, the giving or, or the producing shear from this earthquake. And now, and the last one, I can check some performance. Uh, does it reach to the giving uh, performance criteria or not? And now here, uh, we can select in a performance which performance list. Uh, see the yield and uh, in which uh, uh, step at least that the uh, time 10 to uh, 6 to 10 is a little large let's click i want to select this one so now you can see uh, this is uh, the performance ratio and this is called the reached so in this uh, step time so the column uh, is reached to failure so it will fail and uh, this is not reached yet means so still they have resisting to bear more load. So this is very one of the best software that this can uh, uh, provide you a lot of information regarding how the structure behave, how the structure responds under earthquake or under push over load. Uh, so uh, uh, keep tuned and we will discuss more in the, in the coming tutorials. Uh, next tutorial, we will uh, do IDA or in incremental uh, uh, incremental uh, deformation, uh, uh, incremental dynamic analysis, IDA, incremental dynamic analysis, we will do uh, that analysis. So one of the important analysis, uh, same as time history analysis. Okay, and that's all for uh, this tutorial. When you have questions, please put in the comment and we will find time to answer. See you next time.